Hi everyone. For my first video, I decided to do a centerpiece for all seasons. Something that you can keep up all year round and have a whole lot of fun with. I hope you enjoy. Cans. For this centerpiece, I used 16 in total. Rust-Oleum, lacquer, and from Krylon, paint and primer in silver. Glitter decals, your choice of color from Dollarama. A Lazy Susan, glass is what I preferred from Dollarama. E6000 glue, I purchased at Walmart. Foam, wet or dry, from the Dollar Tree. 2x3 picture frames, I chose silver from the Dollar Tree. Magnetic buttons from the Dollar Tree. Decorative picks or flower bunches from Dollarama. A hot glue gun and glue sticks from Dollarama. Felt from the Dollar Tree. A dowel and a decorative topper optional from the Canadian Dollar Store. Now you're going to want to remove the outer paper from the can, wash and dry very well. Now once I did that, I arranged the cans um, in the way that I wanted my centerpiece to look, just to make sure that um, I really was happy with the size of the centerpiece. You could go larger or smaller, but 16 cans is what I went with. I then sprayed them in the garage. You want to make sure you're in a well-ventilated area. I gave them about three coats of the white and then I gave them about two coats of the lacquer to seal them really well. Next starts the creativity. You can really do whatever you want. I just chose to put my glitter decals, um, a row of black on the top of the can and a row of black on the bottom, and then two inner rows from the top and bottom. I used the clear decals. Now when you buy these glitter decals, um, they do have a glue backing on the back of the decals, but I noticed that um, many times they have peeled off, so I just simply use the glue gun to make sure that they are well adhered to the can and that they're going to stay on. Now if you notice any imperfections on your can or say there was some glue that you just didn't get off, just turn those to the inside because you won't see them from the outside. You want the nicer side facing out. Go ahead and grab your glue, your E6000 glue, and where the cans meet, you just want to run a line across so that they will stick together. Once that is dry, I flip it over and I do the same thing on the bottom. And if you happen to get any drips from the glue, all you do is you just take a toothpick and you just clean it up because you don't want to see any drips on your centerpiece. Now with the 16 can centerpiece, you will have three sections. The bottom will be seven cans glued together, the middle will be five cans glued together, and then the top will consist of three cans glued together, and then the single one glued to the three cans. Now while those sections are drying, you're going to take a can and your felt, and you're going to make a template and cut out 16 white felt circles for the bottom of the cans. With the scraps that are extra, I just cut about one inch pieces and I glue them over top of the glue that I previously glued the cans together. And then I take those round felt pieces 
and I glue them to the bottom of the cans. Adding the felt to the bottom of the sections not only makes the sections look more finished, but it actually um, stops the cans from moving around when they are placed on top of each other. So here I have that top section that I was talking about where I have the three cans and then the single can, and I just glue those together to make the top section of the centerpiece. We then take our 2x3 picture frames and remove any stickers that may be attached, any tags. Now I used three magnetic buttons for the back of each picture frame because I just wanted to make sure that it was going to stay firmly. I found that two, it was kind of sliding around a bit, so three worked really well. Now I left the arm on the back of the picture frame because I figured um, it was just another way that you could use them or if you wanted to use them as place cards for a table setting then there was more ways to use these picture frames. Now taking one tube of the foam I cut it into four and I place it inside at the bottom of each can. Go ahead and get your sections and place them one on top of the other. Once your magnetic picture frames have dried, you can take them and place them one on each can. And honestly, what I most love about this centerpiece is the great way that you can display those wallet-sized pictures that you receive from family and friends. At this point, you're going to go ahead and grab your floral picks or your flower stems that you've cut off from your bunches and you're just going to start placing them in the cans. You want to make sure that you press them right down so that they're sticking into the foam. This way they stay firmly in place and there won't be a lot of movement with the flowers that you're arranging. As you can see for this centerpiece, I use silver and gold, and this is my winter centerpiece that I keep on my dining room table and I love. Go ahead and make one of your very own, and I will guarantee that you will love yours for years to come. Another thing I forgot to mention was the reason I decided to make this centerpiece in sections. By doing it this way it makes it great for storing but also you may simply just want to use the bottom ring with the candle in the center or two of the sections instead of all three or just the topper alone and then sprinkle chocolates or mints around the bottom to cover the glass of the Lazy Susan. This centerpiece is not only versatile but you can display it all year round. And again, what better way to display all those wallet-sized pictures.